In this video, we'll talk about how to specify HTML colors. When we work with colors with HTML, it's good to understand what's going on. Sometimes you will see authors of HTML code use actual colors, the word names, blue, orange, gold, things like that. Other times you will see something that looks hexadecimal. And what hexadecimal is, if you look here, it is a way to specify colors on the screen. The way a pixel on a screen is designed, there are three colors. There's a red, green, and blue set of emitters for each pixel. So, for example, if we turn on just the blue or just the red pixel, so here's an example where each emitter can be map manipulated by a, a hexadecimal, which means that each position can go from 0 through 9 and then A, B, C, D, E, F. If you have these so that they're 0, what that means is I've got this background color set to 0, and that means that what's going on with these is there's no light being emitted at all. Down here, where we just have the red two digits, 0 to F, and then 0 to F, both of the red emitters in these first two digits are maximized. Then what you see here is you see that we just have the brightest red color being emitted. Here we have the brightest green color being emitted, and here we have the brightest blue colors being emitted, and then in this case the, you know, the red is turned off, and the blue is turned off, and then here red and green are turned off, and the blue is turned on, and so forth. If we turn the red and the blue on together, excuse me, the red and the green on together, we get yellow. And so these are sort of predictable. So here if we turn the red off and then we turn the green and the blue on, we get sort of this greenish blue and so forth. If we turn everything up to maximum, if we turn all three emitters up to maximum, uh, then what we're doing for that is we are actually saying everybody emits. And so this is like what happens when light shines. Actual white light is made up of all the colors in the rainbow. So if you turn blue, green, and red on to maximum intensities, then it actually turns into white light. It's a little bit like the reverse of doing a prism. If you take white light, put it through a prism, then you can see all the different colors are embodied in the white light. Here, if we take the three component colors and maximize them, then we get white. So you'll see hexadecimal used in these where they will begin with a little pound character and then they will manipulate these whatever sort of values they want over here. These are just some really common ones. Now the HTML standard and CSS standard has 140 names that are just names of colors that you can use without having to use hexadecimal. Here are the 17 colors that are in the HTML portion of the standard and you can see that the very common blues, yellows, greens, reds, oranges, and so forth are in there and so those are the hundred those are the uh, 17 colors that come with HTML there's an additional 123 colors that come with the CSS standard so we have all together 140 standard colors that you can use by name and I have put a hot link on this page where you can go down or you can just google this quickly if you want to go see it where the W3 schools has these 140 all shown you can see that we have names over here like dark red and then you can see that they have the hexadecimal to the right and you can you know pick pretty much any color that you want any of these that are in the 140 you can use this name or you can use this name uh, I usually like to use this name if I'm using one of the 140 if there's something that's not in the 140 and I want to do something else then I will use the hexadecimal to manipulate the colors and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment if one of these 140 is not quite what you're looking for then uh, these pages also have a way where you can pick, get something close to what you're doing. So let's say that I was sort of looking for sort of a turquoise type color. Then I could pick this and then it would show me variations of this where I could go lighter to darker to very light. And then it also shows me the hexadecimal over here. There, there's another way of specifying it which is the RGB where you can put in the red, green, and blue from zero and uh, from zero to two fifty five instead of from zero through nine on up through f. So these are actually these are three different ways of specifying 
in the code what color we're looking for. And so I could have put aqua in, I could put number 00FFF, or I could put RGB and then use, the, use these uh, characters in here to specify this color. So the colors are very, very diverse. And there's up to there's 16.7 million different colors by combining these emitters from from zero to F, zero to F, zero to F. So for example, here's an example of taking the 16 different colors and raising them to the sixth power for the six positions. Or here's the two the zero to two five two five five or two fifty six raised to the three. All of these equal 16.7 million possible colors in HTML. 